Hi, and this is Zacho X. I'm going to show you how to use uh, VB6. This will be my first tutorial. It's going to be basics. Um, the reason being is because you probably might not know anything, and you're about right here on this video. So the first thing I'm going to tell you about is we can go ahead and open this brand new project. No, I don't need to save any changes. Um, you're going to come to this window first, and what you're going to want to pick because we're starting with standard. Um, so go ahead and hit OK on that. And from what you can see on the left here, we have a bunch of tools. Um, these are actually controls. You can just select one and click and uh, drag to draw it onto this form. Um, you can see properties over here for whatever is selected in here. Um, you can also see other forms if you had more or whatever else is connected to your project. And down here is the um, form. That's all, how it's going to look like on screen. So, for instance, you can change the form instead to sizable. Change it to uh, excuse me. It's not going to be that one. It's going to be down near the bottom. If I can get there, I think this one want to move right here start position. Let's go center screen. You can see that now it had centered the screen. Anyways, let's move on. Um, so, first thing I'm going to teach you about, and I have a checklist here so I cannot forget. It takes forever to load when using screen capture software on a laptop. Come on. Okay. So, first I already talked about the GUI, now we're going to talk about the data types. Um, let's go ahead and go to view and then code right here. Now we got data types. You'll have to look this up on the internet. And the reason you need to know this is because obviously the machine doesn't know what you're talking about. You can just have x, it doesn't know what it is. x equals x plus y, it doesn't know. So you have to clarify what it is. Is it an integer, which is values, uh, positive? Could be negative too, but um, is it going to be a double with a with a decimal, or is it going to be a string, which could be uh, letters from a keyboard? Um, so it could be a word, for example, for a string as well. But uh, anyways, so we have at least the common ones I know from the top of my head: string, integer, long, double. And it just keeps going. Um, these are the main ones you're going to be using. I can't think of any off the top of my head, so we're just going to stick with these for right now. <coughs> now, those are some data types, and you can look up online data types. Um, what you can do is declare them. And when you have to, to start off your declaration, you have to have an option explicit. Make sure you have that at the top. Now I'm co I'm using comment lines. That's what this is. This little key right next to my enter that makes this green. Um, the reason for that is is the code is ignored. It's it's just ignored where I'm typing. So I could just put whatever I wanted here, and it's not going to actually be um, run in the program. So go ahead and declare something. Um, now there is public, global and private. There's some other ones, but I don't remember them all. Uh, private is just within this form itself. Now, the reason you, you want to declare that is if you put it with outside the form, let's say you do global, then you could call this variable that you're making. And the problem with that, you're going to leave it your form open. You're going to have problems where you exit, but it seems like you didn't exit. You're going to have other problems that just the form's going to be in front of you, you can't get rid of it, um, any code in the background is going to be ran, so you just want to make sure that you have private because it will be unloaded when you're unloading your form. Um, so, and besides, it's only used in this form anyways, it's not global, which will be in some other tutorial. Let's go with private, and we're going to use now a prefix. Now a prefix, we're going to use an integer, prefix is so that you know what the variable is or what the object is. For integer, you use int, and then you type a word for what 
it's supposed to be. Um, this is going to be a number. And then as, and you have to say what it is. If you don't, well, let's just say, again, it's not going to know what you're talking about. And you're going to have some problems down the line. I don't remember exactly what it was called, so I just re just said whatever. Um, so we got that declared. Now, remember, this is a prefix, int. Now for a string, you would have str and then whatever you wanted to name it. Maybe um, your father or something, because you're getting his name and you're writing it to a string. You could have, uh, let's say, something with double. It would be like that. And you could say, um, let's say, golf golfing average or something um, but you have to use a prefix because if you don't you're not going to be efficient and when you come back to your code you're going to wonder what was that here's a good example just go ahead and write private oh my god I don't know what this is as long okay I'm not going to know that's a long uh, variable there's no way I'm going to know if I just put some other name that makes no sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and start writing some code. I'm going to show you how to do this. Go back to this window. And we're going to take a button, for example. And then as I as I clicked on the, the icon over here, um, this tool for the command button, I click and drag in the form to create it. And then I'll just double click the object which will let me start coding in it and before I actually do that go back here you should name these objects that you create and yes you should definitely use a prefix again so you know what kind of object it is it's a button usually you use a different prefix for command button but btn sounds very easy fine know what it is. Okay, so uh, we got to click it. <laughs> Double click. Okay, now there's different procedures up here. Um, maybe you want to get when the button when when the button has focus and you push a button on the keyboard, then you'd write code there. Um, when it loses focus, maybe you want to do trigger something. Um, when someone pushes down with their mouse and holds down the mouse button on that button, you could trigger some code here. Um, but usually, 